Welcome to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast with host Kathy DeGraw. I want to talk to you today about physical demonic manifestations. There's general discernment and spiritual discernment. So many people say to me, Kathy, I want to know how to discern the spirits. And I always ask them, why? Why do you want to know? Some people even say, I want to be able to see demons. And I'm like, really? Do you really want to see demons? The gift of discerning of the spirits is distributed by the Holy Spirit. That's the ability to look into the spiritual realm, to know how to move in a meeting. There's a lot of different things that come with that gift. But not everyone has that gift. But you can still cast out demons. You can still do ministry, even if you're not operating in the gift of discerning the spirits and seeing into the spiritual realm. And so in one of my classes, my husband and I, teach the difference of what is general discernment, what is spiritual discernment. Well, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with spiritual discernment through the Bible, through the prophets, through hearing about seers, and seeing into the spiritual realm. If you do want to know a little bit more about discernment, I do have a book on Amazon or my website, kathydegraministries.org, and it's called discernment. And it helps you distinguish the voices you're hearing in your head. It helps you use things in the natural to discern until that spiritual discernment really kicks in or until the Holy Spirit chooses to release that. But what are some natural discernments? Well, we can see on our spouse when they come into our house and they've had a bad day. We're like, oh man, we can see it on their face. You know, we can tell if someone comes in and is yelling or screaming. Sometimes we drive through a region and we can feel like some heaviness or oppression in the atmosphere. You're like, today, I'm recording this. It's the day after Halloween. I go out to my mailbox and I'm like, it is heavy out here in the atmosphere. Okay, so that's just some natural discernment that we could have, maybe coupled with some spiritual discernment. But how else could we discern? One of the ways I want you to think about this, because I'm sure you could relate to this, is have you ever seen somebody one day, and maybe even five days Five years later, they look like a totally different person. And not because they've been, you know, run over by a Mack truck or had a long life or been aging or anything like that. You know, they're still that healthy same person. They just like look totally different. That can be a demonic manifestation. Look at King Nebuchadnezzar in the Bible. Okay. His face changed with fury. He was so mad and had so much anger and rage that his face literally changed. Now I want you to think about that. That person that maybe five days ago was different or five years, maybe they had some oppression, some depression. Maybe they've had some spiritual warfare. Maybe they opened the door to demons or they got some witchcraft curses put forward towards them and it really brought them into demonic oppression. But I also want you to think about that person you argue with, that person that, you know, you get in this fight and they say, I didn't say that, she didn't say that, oh, you didn't say that, I never said that, okay? And that is a demon a lot of times. We don't realize it, but it is. It is a demon manifesting on their face. It is a demon coming up out through them. And so when you get into those he said, she said, or arguments where people are raising their voice, What happens? Their voice fluctuates in change. You no longer are talking to that person. You're talking to a principality, a power, a demon in them. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality. You got to separate the person you love from the principality. And so that is a demonic manifestation. But let's talk about some other manifestations. So you know, whether you're in a coffee shop, whether you're in a Bible study, church meeting, home, wherever you are, there are different demonic manifestations. And I am reading out of my book, Discerning and Destroying the Works of Satan. I have a list and a whole chapter on physical demonic manifestations. How do we know what a natural demon looks like? How do we know it's left? 
and then what are the signs afterwards. And so I have three different lists in here. But one of the things that you can tell in a person is no eye contact, no direct eye contact. Maybe they're, you know, you're talking to them and they're looking down. So when I'm casting out demons, I'm trying to do deliverance or really minister to someone. If they're not looking at me, I'll be like, look at me. I want you to stare right into my pupils because I want to get past the person to that principality, to that demon that's operating through them. And so I'll say, just look at my pupils. Okay. And then that way I can make direct eye contact. Now it's going to be hard. They have a demon. They're going to be going off like this. We just keep saying, look at me, look at me. But that's one way to know. Another way is fidgeting hands, people fidgeting. Maybe you're in a ministry sent session, or maybe you're praying for them at the altar. And sometimes they'll put their hands like in a fist by a chair, or you'll see like some movement, or sometimes they're pulling and, and plucking at them while you're talking. This is signs of a demon could be manifesting in them. And even like if they're sitting in a chair and you're delivering them, just their feet, like really putting those feet into the carpet, the ground, moving back and forth, look for unnatural movements. Okay. Things that people normally wouldn't do. You know, we talk with our hands. That's a natural movement, but gripping a chair, you know, and like gritting our teeth, that's not a natural movement. So we want to look at those things. A tightness of their jaw when they're talking to you, kind of like squinty eyes and tightness of the jaw. That could be the demon trying to lock their jaw down. The demon doesn't want them to tell the truth. The demon doesn't want them to have movements in their mouth so that the demons can expel because a lot of times demons will expel through yawning or burping, coughing, screaming. And so they need that mouth movement and they will lock that jaw down. Even their stomach moving, their stomach could like move like a roller coaster. Sometimes you can really even just see it kind of moving. I had that once when I had a demon, I totally felt what that felt like for other people. And that stomach was just like rolling and moving. And I was kind of glad I felt it once because now when I, you know, do deliverance, I know what they experience and can relate to them. So we have the voice fluctuations. How about staring, glassing eyes, bloodshot eyes, um, oversized pupils, just seeing that whole darkness in the eyes. I've even heard about like the white part getting gray and, and blackened. This is signs of demons. And so I know some of you are be like, well, that could be drunkenness or tired or alcohol or drugs, you know, stuff like that. But we're talking someone that you know is sober. You know, what are some of those signs? for those of you that aren't operating in discernment to know, oh, maybe there's, you know, some demons here. And why is that important? Because we want to get people the help that they need. We want to help people get deliverance. We want to pray for them, you know, accordingly, because we don't want to sit here and be, you know, praying peace and peace and peace if we got to cast the demon out first. And so that's one of the things that I want you to look at is we don't want to do that. And so I want to encourage you, grab my book, Discerning and Destroying the Works of Satan, and help people get set free. Thank you for listening to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast. Receive additional teaching through Kathy's Web Church Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and Facebook or through her Prophetic Spiritual Warfare book. I invite you to visit kathydegrawministries.org for books, mentoring, blogs, or to invite Kathy to speak at your event. Follow Kathy on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Kathy DeGraw. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review the show. This helps our show rise in the rankings and reach more people to bring forth deliverance.